Alright, what's going on everybody? This is Omniac Steve here with the next walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's going to be another n <laughs> no uh, commentary video. We're going to continue where we left off yesterday. Alright, so let's enjoy the video and keep it going.
should talk to Hytham about my next targets. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. It gives me joy to take these from you. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There are more medallions to collect. Can you remind me what you do here? When you eliminate any member of the Order of Ancients, bring their medallion to me. It will help to keep a tally of how many still live. I have to go. Then go in peace. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Hytham asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Halfton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asked that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. Ah, glad to see you made it, Chelbat. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Davor, but what of Lady Chestershire? The Alliance is one. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chill, Bed. Your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? 
Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now called his friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandbridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal, but I will not shy from the triumphs. I have fairly won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough. But it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There's enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it, and I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me!
that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. Are there none left alive to spill their secrets? We may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find an ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from, and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earned you no know, kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, you will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Yard and blood tooth. Berserkers make fierce foes, but powerful allies. His strength. Yard and blood tooth. Berserkers make fierce foes, but powerful allies. His strength would bolster our settlement. I should seek him out. Abbas, Wolf Hilda.
sail! Catch the wind! How's the water?
Guide me. The Ottoman Black Tooth's cave should be close by. That must be the Ottoman's of the Sarga. My eyes cannot forget the sight of God. Or him. A man who fights beside a great white bear. You are Bjorn Bloodtooth. Ask the dead. What do they tell you? They say... We do not want shapeshifters in these lands. They wished me dead. They are not the first. And you... Come to make your name in battle. Another corpse at my door won't matter. I'm not here to fight you, Bjorn. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. And I offer you a seat in our hall. I have no clan. And no need of another. You prefer to live alone here, with your bear? I prefer vengeance... ...against the man who hung my wife and left her for the crows. Who is this man? A Mercian lord... ...whose name shall not sour my lips. He has scores of men... ...an army, perhaps... ...but that will not stop me. Then let me help. If you truly wish to avenge your wife... ...you must not fall in battle. I shall think it over. Njal, go with my bear. Feel her belly. And if Njal trusts you, who knows? Maybe we do as you say. 
You're tame for so wild a beast. Is that so? Tell me, what does a bear like you eat? Whatever you want, huh? Best you show me then. A mixing bomb for making the circuit brew. It smells of piss and nightshade. Skulls say Bjorn carried you into battle when you were but a bear cut. Raised you as one would raise a child. Your favorite flowers? They're not food, Njal. Reminds me of summer in Norway. We had fields like these near Hemingas Hall. <laughs> I can see why Bjorn keeps you around. Ah, the lake. There's fish you want. I can help with that. Fishing arrows. Now to catch something for Nyao. You want some fish, Njal? Here. <laughs> Nothing better than fresh fish. Eat your fill, friend.
A strong war arm, Raven Shirt. These men did not come for the fame of defeating a legendary berserker. No. They were followers of the Mercian Lord. My blood enemy. My wife's killer. How did your wife die? Fame has two faces, Eivor of the Ravens. In Norway, many a young Thane wanted the glory of killing me. They died. I grew tired of killing. Alfilder and I, we came here for a new start. A quiet life. But fame sailed ahead of you. This Mercian Lord learned of your deeds, sought to boost his own name with your blood. You have the right. Only he wanted me to drink the Berserker brew first. When I refused, he demanded. Offered gold, even taunted me. Then he... He hung her. Arfhilda. Your blood feud is just. But if it is something you must do alone... No. Your words are wise. I do not want to die fighting. I want to die knowing my wife is avenged. I want to kill that man. Help me. Tell me what you need. Nightshade. It's the last bit of magic I need for my berserker brew. You shall have it. And when this is over, I trust the Raven Clan will have your axe. When you find the Nightshade, bring it to me beneath the gallows tree south of Beodoric's world. Nightshade often grows near graveyards, and Saxons build their graveyards near churches. Nightshade grows in graveyards. No shortage of those in Christian England.
nightshade has a distinct stench. Like this. That is enough nightshade. Foul smelling herb. Your nightshade. Good. It has the power we need for the coming ritual. Nearly done. The Skalds say Odin hung himself in a tree much like this. He lived, though. Most die. Yggdrasil. The world tree. Odin's gallows. The place where life and death are one. Ride with me, Raven. The Sather awaits. Berserker brew hits hard. It may open your eyes to the spirit realm. It may turn you into a savage beast. Whatever happens, face it without fear. For you bear skins. The wolf shuts you drinkers of blood. We fight for glory. We shield biters. War breakers, born in battles, flood. I've been close to death many times, but this, this was different. Ah, feels like a Jotun kicked my head in. Tis glorious, is it not? Berserker brew does not, does not agree with my belly. But you live still. Can you feel the power of the bear's blood coursing through your veins? Yes. But you, you were a bear! 
And the bare power courses through me still. I'm ready. Where to? The Mercians who slew my wife cowered in Beodorchsworth. We shall kill them all! With me! No! Y'all will taste mercy and blood! Show me what you can do, Berserker! Fool out, Heather! Let us lose!
already. <laughs> You're like a lame mule. Get round the side. Ah! 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 Ah!
keep our wits about us. Enough you out! Bjorn, your enemy has fallen. You have your revenge. Yes. But now I fear I must ask you one last thing. Should you be willing? What is it? Njal is tired. I will tend to her beneath the tree where this all began. Please, bring us some of her favorite flowers. They look like... I know the ones. I'll gather them and meet you beneath the gallows tree. Stay strong, my child. Bjornsi. Saw some of Njal's favorite flowers growing beneath the gallows tree.
wife's grave. The one day visits this tree often. Flowers from young. Now to meet Bjorn beneath the gallows tree. I brought her here. Where it began. Where it ends. I understand. They hung my wife in this tree. And buried her among its roots. A grim and undeserved fate. We took Njal in as a cub, she and I. No children of our own. Now both are gone. And I remain. Dear Njal, you were always at my side for the better years of my life. I must have died like this. Njal sleeps at the old father's feet tonight. Yes. They let loyal hounds into the Hall of the Brave. So Njal too is there. With Alfilda. My 